Hey, this is Pastor Ted again, and going through this series, 12 Habits That Lead to Divorce and How to Avoid Them. Yes, I'm in for avoiding them, for sure. This was written by David uh, David Willis, and uh, then I place some scriptures in it to kind of balance us, and we get a better sense of what's going on. So here we go. I've been through one, two, three, and now we're up to four, which is giving leftovers, giving leftovers. The scripture that I feel goes with that is Romans 12:10. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Listen, we're all busy. We all have all kinds of things. And men, we're probably most susceptible to putting our energy into work and uh, time because we get our affirmation from that. Right away, we get, you know, good job, good job, you did a great job. And, and we respond. The men, we just tend to respond to that. Women, you are maybe uh, working as well, but a uh, home and kids often is the uh, is the thing that really gets you going and, and makes you feel very, uh, um, you know, uh, received and respected and loved and so on. So uh, we're all a little different, but we all have our stuff. And the problem is, is many times it's easier to go in that direction in terms of stuff than it is to that person that maybe isn't happy with you right now, or maybe you had a fight with, or you know, just don't really care. So. We don't want to just do a bunch of stuff and then at the end of the day or the end of the season just be like, you know what, whatever. You know, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I've talked, I've walked, I've done all kinds of things. And I really, uh, I don't want to put my energy into the marriage. Uh, putting energy into the marriage matters, you know, as anything else that's important. And let's face it, when something's important, whether it be planting a garden outside or uh, getting your next degree or learning some trade, whatever it is, you put the time in. So by putting the time in, by listening, by working, by walking through each of the different things of your marriage, you put your spouse first and you don't give them the leftovers. Thanks.